Hey folks, this is Alex the eBay guy here with a Fleetwood Tioga. So overall, this motorhome's in really good shape. It's a Tioga SL. Got two slides on this one with slide toppers to keep the uh, debris in a park like uh, leaves or needles or anything like that off of your top of your slides. So you don't have to climb up there and brush it off when you're getting ready to leave. For extra stability for a C-Class, we have a cast fiberglass front cap here, so you don't have just the uh, 70 mile an hour wind buffeting against the sheet of fiberglass. It's cast. Six gallon Atwood water heater. Gas and electric. This is your bed slide here. Fiberglass rear bumpers. A ladder to the roof. I'll have pictures of the roof in the ad. Overall, not a whole lot of delamination on this. The walls are, are solid. And uh, you've got a little spot right here where the awning rail was, right there. And that's very minor. Uh, you'll notice that the awning is not on it. All the parts are here for the awning. Uh, it needs new cloth put on it. The support stanchions and the, uh, the spring rod are all there. We've got a Transforce tires here and they are date code 2015. By Firestone, 16 inch tires. Decent shape. Model 30U by the way. Let's take a step inside so we don't get any odd light. I'm going to shut the door behind me. And we got a pretty decent interior to this one. Um, definitely in good shape. Dinette here, sofa here. Even when it's closed in, the line's right here that you'll see for the sofa. So you still got plenty of room to walk through here when it's all closed in. Now they did opt for the entertainment system above the cab instead of a sleeping compartment. That means you get a lot of storage, tons of storage here, more storage here, and your uh, electronic components on the bottom. Like that. They upgraded to a Samsung flat screen television. There's speakers throughout the coach. Over here, we've got a four drive train with a V10, 46,961 miles. The leather seats are in nice condition. The carpet was a very light color, so it, it does show a little dirt, but it's uh, not too bad at all. This system does have an, uh, this unit does have an optional lift system on it, giving you about uh, eight to 10 inches of variation to level your camper out automatically, so you don't have to do that when you get your campsite, let you have more fun with the family, more time. We've got a decent sized kitchen here. Again, the cloth on all of this is in really good shape. Uh, this is like a brocade cloth here, so that's, that's always a tough type of uh, cloth. Lots of storage in this. We have a ducted air conditioning system. Now you might not be able to hear it, but both the generator and the air conditioner are running. Standing right here, I'm gonna be quiet for a minute. This is right under the return. That's pretty good for a camper. I have nice glass front cabinets. Gives a little opulence to your home away from home. Dual sided sink. Little spice rack there. Over here we have a Norcold seven cubic foot refrigerator. We have a pantry, five shelves that are all adjustable. Over here we have our convenience station. You'll notice that the generator has 44.2 hours on it. That's nothing. Air conditioning is blowing nice and cold. No signs of soft floor or anything in the bathroom. Around the, nothing around the skylight. Nothing around the vent fan. Nice shower. No signs of leaking around the around the skylight here. 
Going into the bedroom, we have a little vanity, the lift up cabinet for makeup and so forth. Lots of storage in here. Big, huge storage space there. Huge armoire here. I've got a picture of that in the pictures. A lot of light and a full queen size bed. <clears throat> One thing you will need to uh, fix is the uh, blind up under here. Uh, I just go ahead and replace it. Uh, they tried to fix the strings on it, but uh, did not work, so it's wedged up underneath there. You can just take two screws out, it comes right out, put a new one up. Also, one time there was a leak in this corner. You'll see there's a slight bubbling here on the um, uh, wallpaper, but nice and solid all the way down. This is the Fleetwood 30U Tioga Camper here at Beckley's Camping Center in Thurmont, Maryland. Any questions at all, please call and ask for the eBay guy or Alex at 240-405-7790. Thank you.